All right, so now we go to the factions. <clears throat> and then we go to the neutral. First to the faction is the five mana, five free Lotus Agents. The uh, Druid, Rogue or Shaman can use this card and battle cry discover a druid rogue or shaman card okay so the stat wise it's pretty bad however um if you have a druid card which you can if you use this on turn seven for example you have mark of the wild and you use this to upgrade it's a seven five so that's pretty good but yeah druid rogue or shaman card it, it's another uh, mechanic which I really love for a druid rogue or shaman for a druid to use a rogue card or a shaman instead of swipe you have like for a shaman you have you use hex so it's another removal for a druid um, or even druid with a sap or a shaman with a sap so yeah it, it, it's actually really good and also for spell power for a shaman to use swipe that's yeah it's, it's actually really good for those for those kind of cards yeah it's really it's really good all right next up ah uh, my favorite kasakas four mana free free better cry if your deck contains no duplicates create a custom spell uh actually this would have been perfect with reno but since he is going away in april at least i believe it's april yeah it's april because then it's a new year um for right now you can use it actually uh also really late game but you could also use it really early if you have no duplicates of course but mm, sorry uh, it's also really a rough day at work but okay so better cry if your deck contains no duplicates create a cost of spell all right so um you have a one mana cost a potion a five mana and a ten mana uh, I don't actually have it for show, but I will probably edit it in later. Or oh, you know what? I can actually look it up right now. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hold on. I will probably edit this all out. Be right back. I I I couldn't find it. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So at least you have a one mana, five mana, and ten mana potion. Uh, the most common are like AOE attacks, so it's a, like a 1 mana, it's 1, and 5 is 5, and 10 is, oh no, I don't think it's actually going that way, because the 10 mana is 6 attack. Huh. So I don't actually know how that works, but, alright, <clears throat> at least I know for the 10 mana uh, cards you have like um, 6 damage to all minions, uh, you can freeze 3 random enemies. Um, you can summon, resummon the dead friendly minions, uh, three of them. <coughs> um, oh, more. There's so much. Trust me, there's so much more. But yeah. Anyway, Kazakas is a really, really good legendary, which you can actually probably use late. And if you're playing like a Reno deck, you can use it actually really early. So, yeah, it's. For Priest and uh, Mage and Warlock, it's a really, really good card. No doubt about it. Alright, next up. Is Z. Yes, alright, Cabal Career. Also for Mage, Priest and Warlock. 3 mana 2-2. Two, two. Better Cry Discover, Mage, Priest and Warlock card. So, for early on, uh, for to have a Warlock or Mage card is fine by me for let's for example say i'm gonna get a, a mage uh, card it's going to be a, hopefully a fireball so i can use that on my next turn uh, maybe priest shadow or death or warlock maybe twisting down to at least clear the board or some kind of power up so i think this is also going to be a pretty good card to use uh, I, can't, I actually can't wait for this expansion. It's a new mechanic. It's really something new, and you cannot actually uh, expect anything. So it's, uh, it's going to be a new thing. Yeah, and I think this card will be used. Next up. Ah, right. For another side, it's the Paladin, Warrior, and Hunter card. 
at the 2 mana 1 1 Grime Street Informant. Uh, better card just go for Hunter Paladin on Warrior card. So, for uh, the example they gave at BlizzCon, uh, uh, for you have your True Shriveler Champion and you discover a Warrior card with um, Upgrade, it's a 5 mana of. God damn, I say 5 mana instead of attack every fucking time. That's fucking annoying. Right, at least 5 attack and free durability, so you can, do six, you can uh, restore 6 health and do 15 damage, which is really good. So, yeah, for to have two in your deck, um, I find it actually really good. So, say for example, you have a uh, your hunter, you can use this little card to probably discover lay on hands, and if you're like, you have no cards in your hand, so then this, yeah, this card is also going to be pretty good actually. Yeah, I have faith. I have faith. And that's also for like the factions. Wow, I went down fast on that one. All right, next up are the neutrals. Yep, neutrals. First one is the big time racketeer. Six one ma six mana one one. Someone a uh, six six ogre. Um, for constructed, nope. At least not in my opinion. And uh, for arena, yeah, because it's two minions. So, and you will always have a six six on your side. So, yeah, it's 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 pretty good. All right, six mana five five. Wind up Burglebot. Whenever this attacks a minion, it's a five star card. Four on turn six, a five five. It does not survive even one turn. So if you have charge, then okay, it's fine. But furthermore, nah. Uh I don't see myself using this card actually. Maybe if I have a mech deck, but furthermore, nah, not yet. Maybe if there are uh, co upcoming cards which can help it, but now, no. Nah. All right. Uh, ah, one of my favorite. Five mana, two four. Finja, the flying star. Stealth. Whenever this attacks and kills a minion, summon two Murlocs from your deck. So it needs to do an attack and kill a minion. Uh, it's a fine card because it's it's awesome and, and ninja murloc it's awesome but to do two things and even get random murlocs from your deck uh, and on it's a five mana two four so still charge is not a bad thing actually anymore uh, yeah I'm not really Enthusiastic about this card. I'm not. Alright, next up. Ah, the 5 mana 3 5. Grook Fu Master. And it has Wind Fury. So, hmm. Yeah, uh, for life, it's pretty good. For attack, eh. And it needs to be buffed with, like, again, Blessing of Might or Blessing of Kings. But furthermore, eh. It's a fun little card to use if you're a little bit ahead on the board or for Druid. This is even actually a pretty good card for like on turn one to innovate and you throw this guy a little up. Wow. Then you're actually pretty good ahead on board. But furthermore, nah. I'm not enough enthusiastic. Ah, oh, this was actually one of my favorites. <laughs> Five mana, four five. Second rate bruiser taunt costs two less if your opponent has at least three minions. So it's a good defender on um, blah, blah, on aggro. So it's a free. For example, let's just say my opponent has three minions on board. It's a three mana, four five. Hmm. I can uh, go down with that. It's actually almost a traded shoot, uh, Sengen shield master for like stat wise, like the three mana. It's a free attack instead of an attack on four mana. So, yeah, it's a pretty good card actually. At least if you are fighting an aggro, and then again it's a four five. So, it's a it's a pretty good card. So yeah, yeah. It's not a card that I will use like every day on my decks, but maybe someday. Yeah. Ah, 
Another one of my favorites, 4 mana for 4, Cookie Chemist. Better Cry swap the attack and the health of a minion, so it's uh, actually a crazed alchemist, which is 2 mana 2-2, two, two, so... But still, you can like experiment more, and I know actually a sort of deck that I want to create with Priest, so... Yeah, this is actually one of my favorites, so... It's a, it's a card that I will use, so... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can also like always get rid of Doomsayers, um, and well, even with Pine Size Potion, you can like uh, probably do their attack to zero and switch it up. So yeah, it's it's actually a pretty good card. Next up, ah, one of the newest is the three mana three four Auction Master Beardo. After you cast a spell, refresh your hero power. It's really interesting um, for Mage. It's actually pretty good with RK Missile, but you need to use it actually really late. So it's a probably turn 6, or maybe even turn 8. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's actually you, a card that you have to use really late, but again, the stats are pretty good. It's a 3-4, hmm. but furthermore, maybe with Rogue. Like, uh, but then again, Rogue only can attack once, so probably this card will be for Hunter, Warrior, Mage, uh, Shaman even, yeah, and even Paladin, so the others, nah, because they need to attack and the character only attacked once, so you cannot actually build it up. So yeah, that's for those uh, classes. It's pretty good for the rest. Ah, now. Uh, one of also one of my favorites. Free mana, free seven. Fell orc soul fiend. At the start of your turn, deal two damage to this minion. Um, well, I have a circle of healing. I have a power word shield. I can go on forever. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually a pretty good card. Um, at the start of my turn, I can actually heal this one. So it's uh, it did damage, for example, on a free attack minion, so it now has two health left. Uh, but I can heal it, so it's a free four again, and my opponent needs to still get rid of it. I don't see actually see a downside. <laughs> mm, next up, ah, the two mana two free friendly bartender. At the end of your turn, restore one health to your hero. Okay, so I've been thinking about this one. It's actually pretty good going with a, a Cthulhu deck. Because so with the um, uh, Hooded Cultist, I believe it's her name. or Well, anyway, the one that uh, a 4 mana free 6. So, yeah, that's actually really good. With a combo with that, yeah. Um, furthermore, yeah, it, it still restores your health, so... Maybe for another aggro deck, if you're or like a paladin, hunter, rogue with or druid to attack your face and still get heals, yeah, it's pretty good. I actually would uh, rather use uh, an enraged torrent, tauros, but whatever. Eh. eh, we'll see. All right, the others. Ah. The one mana two two mistress of mixtures. Death Rattle restore four health to uh, to both players. So it's like a zombie chow. Um but I'm missing one life on it. But still I think this card uh, yeah will be used. At least it's it's a really good for the starters. It's more of a control card to get rid of the minions instead it's a right on face. But still it's an attack on on uh, on the face, if your opponent lays no minion on on uh, his or her turn one, so mm, it's a, it's pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah. Patches the pirate one mana one one charge after you play a pirate summon this minion from deck. The only upside with this card is um, gang up, and furthermore, it's just a one one if I summon a pirate. Wow, great card, isn't it? Yeah, no, sorry. 
this this card is in my eyes useless as crap. Instead, uh, except with Gang Up and with uh, the Sea Captain, I believe, which gives your pirate plus one plus one. But furthermore, ah, <laughs> it's it's useless. <laughs> At least in my eyes, I could be wrong, but nah, nah. And that's actually all the cards. Wow.